Good afternoon, everyone. I am author Tasha Stelvin. I'm Tasha Kimball, but I write under my maiden name, uh, Tasha Stelvin. I've lived in Texas for over 30 years and have no plans to move anytime soon. Texas is such a wonderful and embracing and loving state. And um, so I've been here for over 30 years and I have two little girls that love to read and they love books. And I thought, you know, they have so much time to grow and to flourish. You know, I wanted to start to get into that because I love to write. So I wanted to turn it into something more. Uh, I decided to write about issues that our children were experiencing in school every day and in their lives every day on a level that they could understand. And I've volunteered at local horse ranches for the past 20 years, working with children with disabilities, being a sidewalker and a leader with the horses and working with the kids. So while writing all of this and trying to think of, you know, a name and everything, I thought of how can I get horses incorporated with my stories and also to kind of explain a message. So I came up with Horse of a Different Color. And so my first book that I wrote is called Horse of a Different Color. And it's about diversity and individuality. And so the moral of the story is Madison has a birthday that's coming up and she can't figure out which horse she would like to ride. And so she becomes kind of tangled up in her emotions that she can't figure out which horse she wants to ride because they're all different colors. But, you know, it's like the moral of the story is we're all like horses. We are all different colors and we are unique and we're individuals just like all of our friends. And so this was illustrated by the late Dan Rebegay from Hungary. And I think he did an amazing job. The second book that I decided to write, um, you know, I was at a conference one day and a local librarian came to me and she said, have you ever thought about making your book into a series? And I was like, you know, that is a great idea. And then I had a parent um, come by my booth and she said, have you ever thought about having your book in English and Spanish? And I thought, what a great idea. Why not? <laughs> and so I decided to take that on in my next book. Uh, it is called Horse of a Different Color, The Tallest Kid in the Class. And it is illustrated by Darina Gavila from Russia. And it is in English and Spanish. And the moral of this story is that Casey is experiencing some bullying for being the tallest kid in the class. And Madison befriends her, you know, and her other friends begin to see, you know what, Casey's not a bad person after all. And there's a lot of things that she can do that we can't do. So why are we being so mean to her? And in the book, one day we have Officer Godwin comes and gives a presentation to the kids and talks about bullying. So I just wanted to read a little bit from what Officer Godwin had to teach them. As the students became more excited, the class grew louder. Once Officer Godwin said hello, the room went silent. Officer Godwin began giving his presentation on bullying and made sure that all the kids remembered five important things. Number one, you are not alone. There is always someone going through the same thing that you are. Number two, always tell someone, tell your teacher, tell your parents, tell another grown up. Number three, being unique is awesome. There is no one in the world like you. Being unique is not a bad thing. It means you have a quality that other kids around you don't have. Number four, be brave. Never let anyone make you feel sad. Never let anyone make you feel bad about how special you are. It's okay to stand up for yourself. Number five, be yourself. If you're the tallest kid in the class, think about how that will work for you. You might want to play basketball or you can help your teacher get things off the shelf that other kids can't reach. Let your quality shine brightly. There's always a positive quality about yourself 
that outshines the rest. Remember that. And the next book um, that I am, thank you, working on is called The Horse of a Different Color, The Color of Emotions. And so our kids today have a lot of different emotions that they're dealing with, and they just really don't know how to tackle. And I really want to take the time to kind of break those out to them and let them just really work through that and recognize what those emotions are and how to handle them in a positive way. And you should see that coming out from me in uh, 2022. And also, <laughs> I'm available for uh, school visits virtually and in person. www.mommy, M-O-M-M-Y, Mimi, M-I-M-I, and me, A-N-D-M-E, Dot com. And I came up with that name because without Mimi, there's no mommy. And without mommy, there's no me. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Thank you.